guys and you're welcome to watch another amazing video on millionaire by 25 if you're new to this channel make sure to subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content which we will be putting out we will be looking at the 15 essential things to do after launching a blog let's head right into the video launching a blog is like giving birth now that your brainchild is born it's time to ensure it grows and thrives. Doing more than writing, great content to maximize your blog's potential. Doing more than writing, great content to maximize your blog's potential would be best. Here, we will present a comprehensive checklist of 15 things to do after your blog is born. From fine tuning your website's design and functionality to promoting your site, these tips will set you on a winning pedestal. Let's dive in and reveal the secrets to blog trials without further ado. 1. Set your permalink structure Now that your blog is running, you must set up a well-structured permalink system. Permalinks determine the format of your blog post URLs. By optimizing them, you can improve your website's visibility and ranking. Here's how to set up your permalink structure. Go to Settings, Permalinks in your WordPress dashboard. You can choose from the following options. Date. For this option, you can use the date of your post or the page as the permalink. 2. Post name. The permalink becomes the name of your post. 3. Custom structure. This option allows you to customize your permalink. Number two, set up your core pages. The core pages of your blog are its foundation. This includes homepage. Your homepage is the most crucial part of your blog. It's the first thing visitors see when they arrive at your blog. The about page. The about page is where you tell your readers who you are, what your blog is about. Keep it brief, but give all the necessary information about your website's goals. 3. Contact page The contact page is where you provide your contact information for readers. Ensure to provide your email, social media handles, and phone number, which is optional. At number 3, set up your blog general settings. It's essential to fix your settings so your blog can function correctly. These include your blog's title, tagline, language and time zone to set up your blog's general settings follow the steps below one go to settings in your wordpress dashboard two navigate to general three enter your blog's title and tagline now choose your language and time zone and four you can also decide whether or not you want new users to register for accounts on your blog Number four, install legal pages. Another essential step to take after creating your blog is to set up your legal pages. Consider setting up your privacy policy, terms of service, and disclaimers. You can do this yourself or hire an attorney. Follow the steps below to set it up. One, choose a template that you can use. Many are available online. Two, Customize the template to fit your blog needs. And three, if you're uncomfortable doing this yourself, hire an attorney to create them. Number five, utilize Google Analytics. Google Analytics is a free and essential tool that helps you track and measure blog performance. With this instrument, you can see firsthand how many people visit your site where they are from, and what they view. This insider information will help you know your audience and improve your content. Follow the steps below to set up your Google Analytics. 1. Create a free account with Google Analytics. 2. The site will give you a tracking code. The code is a JavaScript snippet you must add to your blog. 3. Add it to your blog's code by joining it to your photo file or themes header. And four, verify the code by following the instructions on Google Analytics official website. Number six, 
Build a sitemap for your blog. Creating a sitemap for your blog is not a crucial step that you must take after your site launches. This functionality will make it easier for people to find your content as search engine will use it to index your blog. To create a sitemap, follow these steps. One, choose a sitemap format, XML or HTML. XML is better for search engines and HTML is easier to read for humans. Two, list all of your blog's pages, including the page's URL, title, and last modified date. And three, submit your sitemap to search engines. Number seven, use a favicon. A favicon, the small icon next to your blog's name, is a great way to make your blog unique. This originality will help people remember your blog. Follow the steps below to create a favicon. One, choose a square image, 16 pixels wide. One, choose a square image, 16 pixels wide and 16 pixels high. Two, save as .ico file format. And three, upload to your blog's root directory. You will find it in the top level directory of your website. Number eight, post giveaways. Building your email list and growing your audience is an aspect of blogging you should never take for granted. A great way to do this is by offering freebies to your audience. Here are some steps to help you. One, choose a topic. It should be related to your niche and capture the interest of your audience. Two, create the content. Be sure to create the content for your freebie. You can use an ebook, a checklist, or a guide. Three, design the landing page. Your landing page is where your readers will go to assess the offer. You can request their emails from there. Four, Promote your freebie. Now, you need to boost your offer. You can promote it by sharing it on social media or emailing it to subscribers. Number nine, optimize your SEO and increase visibility for your blog. No matter how great your content is, it'll never see the light of day if it's not search engine optimized. Hence, it would help if you prioritize improving your website's visibility and search engine results pages, SERPS. Here are a few steps to follow. One, choose the right keyword. Two, use your chosen keywords throughout your blog posts. Include them in your titles, meta description, and the whole content. Three, ensure that your images are SEO optimized. And four, build backlinks by submitting guest posts and participating in forums. Number 10, ensure your content is accessible across different platforms and devices. The next thing to do is to confirm that your blog is mobile and desktop friendly. A good blog should be accessible across multiple platforms. Here are some tips to help you ensure that your content is accessible. One, use a responsive design. Ensuring your blog will be easy to read on all devices. Two, use mobile-friendly images. Your images must be mobile-friendly, meaning they should be small and load quickly. Three, test your blog on different devices. Once you push the publish button, test your blog on different devices and see if it needs adjustment. Number 11. Create an email list and grow your subscriber base. Another critical step is creating your email list. A thriving subscriber base will help you sell products, stay in touch with readers, and promote your posts. The tips below will help you get started. One, use a lead magnet, gifts, or incentive in exchange for readers' emails. Two, place the sign up form at a visible and accessible spot on your blog. Three, 
Share and promote your email list sign-up form on social media. 4. Send regular emails to your subscribers to keep them engaged. And 5. Segment your email list to send targeted emails to specific audiences. Number 12. Create an opt-in form for your email service. An opt-in form is an excellent way to collect your readers' emails when they visit your blog. Use an email service provider like MailChimp or Weber or Constant Contact to achieve this feat. Let's go over the steps. 1. Choose an email service provider. 2. Create an account. Add your blog's URL. 3. Create an opt-in form. And 4. Embed the opt-in form on your blog. Number 13. Leverage social media to boost traffic and engagement. Never undermine the importance of leveraging social media to increase traffic and engagement. You must choose the right social media platform. The right one is the one your target audience will most likely use. Create engaging content that is interesting and informative. Be consistent. Post regularly on social media. Use social media analytics to track your progress. Respond to comments and participate in discussions. Number 14. Utilize influencer marketing strategies for maximum results. Getting influencers to help promote your blog is one beginner blogging tip you must take seriously. By partnering with influencers, your blog's popularity can skyrocket in a few months. Below are steps on how to utilize this strategy. 1. Identify. You must identify your audience. Who is your target audience? Once you know the answer, you can find the right influencers. 2. Reach out. After finding influencers who fit your blog well, reach out, introduce yourself and agree on partnership terms. 3. Track. Once they agree to work with you, please set up your influencer marketing campaign. Then, start tracking your results and make adjustments. Number 16. Create a content calendar. It would help if you keep your blog alive with constant updates to survive time and competition. Here are steps on how to do this. 1. Choose the right content calendar tool. Google Sheets, Trello, or Asana. 2. Brainstorm topics for your posts. 3. Once you've finished titling your posts, schedule them. 4. Devise how often you want to publish and commit to your arrangement. And 5. Promote your posts on social media add them to your website and email them to subscribers. If you've succeeded in launching a blog, congratulations! However, this is just the first step in a long journey. The 15 tips in this video will help you increase your chances of succeeding after launching your blog. As you implement the strategies, remember to mix consistency with hard work as you watch your blogosphere expand. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please leave us a like rating below. If you have any concerns, be sure to leave your comments in the comment section and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.